Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be looking at the Lander Thrust Measuring Stand from Banggood.com. I have recently built two mini quads on the channel and I want to test the difference in equipment to see if it is worth spending the extra money on upgrades. The test that I'm going to do today is regarding ESCs, specifically if it is worth spending a lot of money on the KISS 24 amp ESCs compared to some cheap generic 30 amp ESCs. Now these aren't mini quad specific ESCs, they are actually the ones from my cheap 450 build that I used previously on the channel. They are sold as 3S compatible, however, when I removed the heat shrink, they had 2 to 6S compatible written on them, so they will be fine for this test. The generic ESCs have a built-in beck, and the KISS ESCs don't, so I will be running a second regulator to power the servo tester that I have added to the unit. For this test, the motors will be the 2204-2300kV Cobra motors used in my first ZMR250 build. The prop will be the HQ5040 3-leaf prop. I have also added a RC power analyzer to show the battery voltage and amp draw, as well as a servo tester which will send the PWM signal to the ESCs. Both ESCs have been calibrated using the servo tester. The battery will be the Luminaire 1300 4S LiPo used in both mini quad builds. On to the first test and let's check out the result for the generic ESC. I will run a couple of tests, the first will be on a completely full battery and the second will be as the battery starts to wear down. So that first run was a peak 692 grams of thrust with 13.35 amps drawn, a voltage sag on the battery of 0.52 amps and 217 watts. And the second run is producing 665 grams of thrust at 13.34 amps and 199.4 watts. Apologies for the poor lighting on the power meter, it also seems that it is slightly delayed compared to the thrust stand as well. So what can we take from that? Well, 665 grams to 692 grams of thrust is respectable for sure, but an amp draw of 13.35 when the ESCs are rated to 30 amps is pretty low. In fact, when the motor was at full throttle, it sounded like it was hitting a limiter, like a car engine would do. At first, I thought this sounded like the prop was out of balance, but it wasn't. It is the ESC hitting the amp limit of 13.35. And now, with the KISS 24 amp ESCs, as well as a little tidy up of all the wiring and better lighting. <laughs> Wow, so the first run showed a peak thrust of 954 grams at 23 amps with a peak voltage sag of almost 1 amp and 366.4 watts. <laughs> The second run showed a peak thrust of 926 grams, a 1 amp voltage sag with 24 amps drawn and 391 watts. So what can we take from that? Well, an incredible 262 extra grams of thrust using the 24 amp ESCs. And not only that, we are getting the full 24 amps out of these ESCs as well, compared to the 13 amps of the generic ones. But we get that at the cost of extreme inefficiency, but that is mini quads in a nutshell. Extreme power with low flight times.
We can also take away from this that buying cheap ESCs are going to bottleneck your motors, especially if you are using these ones. Now remember, these aren't DYS 20 amp ESCs I'm comparing against, which I'm sure would perform better against the KISS ESCs, but it is worth considering spending the money where it counts. I think it's fair to say that this is a tool that the pros will be using to get the best combination of components to be ahead of the game. So, if you are interested in that, I will put a link in the description of where you can buy it. Look out for more tests that I'm going to be doing with this excellent thrust stand, including battery comparisons and motor comparisons. Until then, thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at andyrc underscore channel for pictures of items that are going to be coming up on the channel. As always, please continue to subscribe. Cheers.